Welcome, explorers of the past. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the incredible stories of creatures that once roamed our planet but have long vanished into the mists of time. From the towering giants to the peculiar oddities, get ready to dive deep into the captivating world of extinct animals. The first animal is the woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth, Mammothus primigenius, was an extinct species of mammoth that lived during the Pleistocene epoch, which began some 2.6 million years ago and ended about 11,700 years back. Woolly mammoths were large elephantine looking animals with a distinctive appearance. They had a heavy, shaggy coat of fur, small ears, and a layer of fat beneath their skin that provided insulation in cold climates. Woolly mammoths have been portrayed in cave art by prehistoric humans who painted scenes on cave walls and carved them on bones. These artistic depictions show that these animals were of cultural significance to prehistoric people. The next animal is the quagga. The quagga was a subspecies of the plains zebra inhabiting the grasslands in South Africa with an equally antique pattern. It served as exotic food for people like Heidegger. In the latter half of the 19th century, quagga became extinct. The last captive individual died in Amsterdam in 1883. Overhunting by European settlers and loss of habitat due to agricultural development were its main causes for extinction. The quagga is considered extinct, but the species has been selected toward this subspecies in attempts at replenishing it. This means choosing game animals with quagga-like coat patterns and breeding to obtain copies of the extinct subspecies. The next animal is the Archaeopteryx. The Archaeopteryx is a genus of extinct bird-like dinosaurs from the late Jurassic period. There are features both purely avian and typically reptilian dinosaur-like in this creature, which lived 150 million years ago approximately. It was one of the earliest known birds with feathers. Although it had plumage wings, its skeletal form indicates that possibly it could not fly as well as modern birds. Some scholars believe that Archaeopteryx might have been able to glide or even limited flight. The next animal is the Macarodontini. The Macarodontini were a group of prehistoric felids, characterized by their long saber-like canine teeth. Saber-toothed cats were not a single species, but embraced many genera and species. They inhabited all over the world, on every continent except Australia and Antarctica. The most characteristic feature of saber-toothed cats was their elongated upper canine teeth, which grew up to one meter in size. Such terror incarnate is difficult for any human to imagine. The exact hunting habits followed by these dreaded creatures are a subject of discussion among scholars. Others believe that they probably used their long canines to give prey a precise bite in the throat. The next animal is the plesiosaurs. The plesiosaurs were marine reptiles of the Mesozoic era, which stretched from approximately 252 to 66 million years ago. Plesiosaurs varied greatly in size and build. Some had long necks and small heads, others short necks with larger heads. They, Aquasaurus, fell into two groups, one with short necks and the other long. Plesiosaurus had a special body structure consisting of a small head mounted on an elongated, serpentine-like neck. They also possessed slender tail section and four large paddle-like limbs attached to their sides via very broad shoulders or girdle. The limbs were transformed, and their structure was similar to the flippers of modern marine mammals. The next animal is the Hallucigenia. The Hallucigenia is an extinct genus of bizarre sea creatures which flourished during the Cambrian period, about 508 million years ago. These crazy-looking animals with their decidedly surreal appearance looked like something out of a hallucinatory dream fossil evidence shows that this creature had a tubular body and pairs of long, slender spines projecting from one side as well as shorter stilt-like appendages on the other. When this arrangement was first discovered, confusion ensued as to which end of the structure served as its head and tail. Hallucigenia probably lived on the seafloor, where its series of elongated spikes may have been used for self-protection against would-be predators. Its feeding habits are still a matter of debate if it was depository feeder. The next animal is the dodo. The dodo was a flightless bird that is thought to have become extinct in the late 17th century. The dodo originated in the Indian Ocean island of Mauritius. It had a somewhat bizarre appearance because it was flightless and its wings were relatively small with many bones not capable of supporting weight given their positioning too far from the body its modes for flying developmentally different from other birds due to these characteristics. 
The isolation of the island of Mauritius, combined with lack of aerial predators, caused this loss in flight capability. The dodo disappeared from all records around 1700 AD. Just under 80 years after it had first been sighted by humans on their arrival there 17 centuries earlier or so. Most of its extinction was due to human activities, namely the killing by sailors and subsequent introduction of animals. The next animal is the St. Helena. The St. Helena giant earwig is found exclusively on the island of St. Helena, which is a British overseas territory. The St. Helena giant earwig is one of the largest earwig species in the world. Earwigs are omnivorous, and their diet typically consists of a variety of organic matter, including plant material, fungi, and small invertebrates. Earwigs undergo simple metamorphosis with three stages, egg, nymph, and adult. Female earwigs generally deposit their eggs in underground burrows or hidden places. When hatched, the nymphs look like smaller versions of adults. The next animal is the Florist Man the Florist Man, the extinct species of Man Homo floriensis that lived in Indonesia's island of Flores showed small stature. Adults were about 1 meter, 3.3 feet, tall, which was rather small compared to modern human beings. Their brain was measured and was smaller than a normal Homo sapien relative to the rest of their body weight. Hence they were also given a playful name, the Hobbit. Some scientists proposed that the small build and distinctive features seemed to point toward a separate species, while others believed it was possible that they were all members of Homo sapiens whose bodies had been affected by an abnormal medical condition. The last animal is the Tyrannosaurus rex. The Tyrannosaurus rex, often shortened to just plain T-Rex, was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs that ever walked on Earth. Tyrannosaurus also lived in the late Cretaceous period, about 68 million years ago. Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the last of the dinosaurs before their mass extinction. The first fossils of this species were discovered in 1902 by American paleontologist Barnum Brown, who found several specimens in what is now Montana, USA. Since, many specimens have been found all over North America. It is thought that rex was top of the food chain in its environment and preyed on large herbivorous dinosaurs such as Triceratops or Edmontosaurus. With its large, strong jaws and powerful bite, it could have eaten a great deal of meat in one gulp. Thank you, fellow time travelers, for joining me on this expedition through the annals of history. If you enjoyed our adventure into the world of extinct animals, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow explorers.